let's talk about things that are weird. Things like trying to communicate with other human beings. Have you ever tried that? Huh? Have you? It's weird. I don't know why it's so, like, it's amazing. When people communicate effectively, that is so rare. Like, it's so rare compared to, like, how many faux pas in communication we have. And, like, it's, it's so hard. There's so many, so many pitfalls. Like, one of them is, is, you know, you just get confused. Like, I remember, you ever do this where you see somebody has something in their teeth, and then you're like, excuse me, madam, you have a piece of something in your teeth. And right when you say it, you realize it's just a big gap. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, and she's looking into her compact, and she's like, I don't see anything. And you're like, I know, I see that now, there's nothing there. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, it, it's so hard, and it's weird to me, because part of the problem, is, like, where communication is hard, is people don't want to get embarrassed. And I had this issue with one of my ex-lovers. We were at a party, and she had just been over the tire shoe, and I noticed that the top of her butt crack was hanging out, and I thought, how embarrassing, I should inform her like a gentleman. <laughs> and so I said, hey, babe, uh, your, your butt crack is hanging out. And she went, what? That is not my butt crack. That is my lower back. <laughs> and I was like, uh oh. Maybe if, if that is your lower back, that's terrifying. Because there's a crack in it. <laughs> and if it's up on your back, that means it's like the one on my car windshield, and that shit is spreading. I don't know. I don't know what to do about this. And then there's sometimes when people don't understand words, which is really interesting. I don't know if you've ever had this experience. I was at work, and a new coworker named Dan was underneath the mezzanine, and my coworker comes up and he's like, over the mezzanine, hey, Dan, can you tell me what your phone extension is? And he gets up and he's like, oh, yeah, uh, D-A-N. <laughs> I was like, did, you, did I just see another, did I see a full-grown man think that another man asked him how to spell his three-letter name? <laughs> that is crazy. And... Along, along the lines of people not understanding words at all, I was on my way home once and I saw this sign for a construction company and it said, Creative Builders. And I thought, that's a horrible name for a construction company, right? Because some professions, you want to be creative, right? Like an artist or somebody making music for you. And then some professions, you'd rather go by the book. Like, a per like the person that's building your house. You know, like I don't want somebody building my house, creative builders, and I get to the job site, and I'm like, what the hell is that? And he's like, ah, oh, yeah, uh, we want to do something real creative with this wall, so uh, we just use graham crackers. <laughs> you know, some professions, I think we can all agree, we just prefer if you go by the book. You know, guys, like the doctor that's giving you the prostate exam. You know, you don't want to get a surprise there. Just please follow the rule book. And ladies, if you're ever the doctor getting a breast exam, you don't want the doctor to be like, yeah, the breast machine, the mammogram machine is broken, but uh, I have a waffle iron we can use if you want to. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, it's just, communication is very hard for me, and that's probably why two things happened to me when I turned 30. One, I got a fucking Snuggie. And you guys are like, what? Why? And I'm like, fucking microfiber, that's why. It's, I've 
I've turned down some sex for a Snuggie, let's just say that. And the second thing that happened to me, and I'm not trying to glamorize this, okay? Uh, you know, do whatever you gotta do in your life to be successful before this happens to you. Graduate from DUI class, you know? Do whatever you gotta do. But uh, I got into a bar fight. You guys ever have one of those? You ever? Yeah? One person, thank you. It's my soulmate. It was a really weird experience. I was at a bar. I had uh, a little bit too much to drink. Not like way too much to drink. Maybe like one gallon more than I needed. And I dropped a glass by a guy. And he was like, his dog was like five feet away. And he goes, you almost hit my dog. And I look at his dog that's five feet away. And I look back at him. And I said something. And I was inebriated. And I'm not sure what it was, but it was polite. Something along the lines of, Sir, uh, what? Have you ever considered fornicating with yourself? <laughs> Have you ever considered that? At which point, he stepped up and got in my face. And the bouncer came, which bouncers are really fun people. Oh, my God. you got to interact with them. They're so cuddly. <laughs> this guy's in my face, and I feel a hand on my shoulder. Now, my natural reaction when I feel a hand on my shoulder when I'm fighting with somebody is to just kind of put my elbow back and see if I can tap them on the nose lightly <laughs> just to let them know that I'm aware of their presence but I'm busy right now and I did that and I hit rock hard meat man flesh and I was like <clears throat> and I was like and I turned around and all I saw was just a chest just a chest in my vision, and I went, oh, shit. And he went, oh, shit is right. And then we left the bar together. <laughs> now, some of you have left a bar before, and you think the best way to leave the bar is by waving goodbye politely to your friends. But if you've never been full nelson out of a bar, it's so much better. It's so much less work on the legs. <laughs> Especially if you have a tall bouncer like me and your feet don't touch the ground and you just kind of do this. And we get outside and the guy was still in my face. And I just looked at him and I wanted to end it. So I just said, hey, stop trying to kiss me. <laughs> For some reason I made him very angry and he punched me in the face. And that's when I said, hey, you hit like a girl. And that's when he punched me in the face again. And I'm not going to tell you who won the fight, okay? But I will tell you that man was a coward because when I regained consciousness, he was nowhere. He ran away.